With New Year's Eve fast approaching, many will be popping the big question, and that diamond ring your newly engaged friend is showing off, well, it may not be the traditional diamond. More than a third of all engagement rings with center stones purchased last year were actually created in a lab. On your side's Christine Lazar is here with more on this rapidly growing phenomenon. It's interesting, Christine. It's interesting and it's very fun to do this segment, folks. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, can I put some diamonds on you? Uh, you don't even need to ask. Well, by some estimates, lab-grown diamonds make up nearly 20% of the global diamond market and they can be up to 70% more affordable than natural diamonds. I'm here with Jay Gardina. He is the CEO of Adamus One, which is a leading producer of lab-grown diamonds. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for dressing me in diamonds because they are truly a girl's best friend. But a lot of people don't know what a lab-cut diamond is and how it differs from a natural diamond. Can you explain that distinction and how they're grown? Sure, I mean, so I can speak for Adamus One, for our diamonds. Um, we look at the diamonds that we produce are identically the same as a, as a mine diamond, physically, chemically, and optically identically the same. So you can call Meaning, them diamonds. They, they are diamonds. They are an actual diamond, 10 out of the more scales. We've done extremely extensive testing on our diamonds, the finished product, uh, literally a year's worth of testing, mores, everything from A to Z, nuclear testing to see how they conduct heat, thermal conductivity, et cetera. And it's, we're identical to a mine diamond in every capacity. And I think what a lot of people want to know is, what am I going to pay for something like this? You know, we said up to 70%. If we can come back out on these diamonds, because this is the first thing I asked you, <laughs> so I know a lot of women will be asking that as well. I mean, like for this ring in particular, tell me about that, what you would pay for it being lab grown versus naturally mined. Sure. So this is one of our El Jolie jewelry lines. So we're getting ready to launch. This is our first high end luxury lab grown jewelry line. We're launching um, Q1 of next year. This is a 10.2 carat center stone. So all of our stones we produce are DEF color. Um, so it's very, they're clear. Yeah. It's colorless diamonds are considered. Um, we retail this specific ring for 125,000. If you look for a comparable for the same type of ring, meaning the, the quality of the stone and setting, it's anywhere between four to 500,000, depending where you're gonna buy it. Wow. Obviously, if you're looking at Tiffany's, it's a higher end of that. If you're going to Zales or K Jewelers, they usually don't have this quality of a stone, but it's on a lower price point. And these are obviously very big diamonds that you're showing here. I mean, I have some of them on my hand and they are heavy. But for those who have a, a more modest budget, you know, if you have three, $4,000 to buy an engagement ring, how much of a difference are you gonna see between what you can afford for lab cut versus those, again, naturally mined? That's, that's a great question. Because when we look at, you know, everyone's very cost conscientious. And we look at how lab grown diamonds in the market has really exploded, for sustainable earth and mankind, you know, post COVID, everyone's like, they heard about mine diamonds, they worry about you destroying the earth and the ecosystems displacement and then the social aspects of it, like blood diamonds. So a lot of people that would naturally not gravitate to go in and buy a diamond, now we're coming in and seeing an alternative, as well as it's a value add, like you just said. So when the average person comes in, the average stone is used to be a half carat to a carat. Now with a lab grown diamond, they have the ability to double that size almost, or sometimes three times that size. If we look at like this stone right here, this is a 2.75 carat stone. Which is still a very big diamond. <laughs> exactly, which is a large stone, but when someone goes in to purchase it, you're looking at this, depending where, they, again, where the retail is, um, anywhere between four and $10,000 for this stone, where that was way off the budget for someone if they were going in for a traditional mine diamond. So in general, we look at anywhere between 35 to 65% as a discount, as a retail level, from the cost of a mine to a lab grown. So it, gives you much more opportunity. You're seeing people wear bigger diamonds. Yeah. And we have, we have some that are bigger than that as well if you want some. And so this is interesting. <laughs> so this is my own ring, which is real. And this is the lab cut diamond. And it's, I mean, obviously mine's not clean, but it shines a lot more. Cause as you mentioned, you're getting such a better quality diamond because it is being grown in a lab. Correct, we have much more, it's much more consistent. So we can grow in specific dimensions, which is really important because obviously the low hanging fruit for us is, is jewelry. But when we start going out from the jewelry sector, from and we go into the technology sector, diamonds are the number one thermal conductive product on the earth. Oh wow! When you talk about semiconductors, then we go, okay, we know that our diamonds are f almost 50 times more thermal conductive than silicone, meaning you can have faster computers, supercomputers, quantum computers. Mm -hmm. We have the ability to grow in specific dimensions and clarity that you couldn't actually get in a mine diamond. 
Wow, so when you start taking different applications, like your necklace you're wearing, our graduated mm -hmm. necklace, to match those up in mine diamonds would be a months, months, months long process. Right. Right, because those are all D color VVS1 stones, which to find those in, in the mine is very difficult yeah. for the same identical sizing. Well, I don't know all the specifics, but I will say they are beautiful and they make me feel beautiful. So that's always the important part about diamonds, right? Well, thank you for joining us today and for telling us all about this. I mean, I think they're growing in popularity and we're going to hear about it more and more. Back to you guys. Well, they're very pretty. They are very pretty. <laughs> and I like that they're uh, that humans aren't being exploited in yes. order to get these right. diamonds. And it's fascinating that they actually take chips of diamonds, he was telling me, to make the lab cut diamonds. So again, so you've, you've got a diamond. diamonds yeah. and you can't tell. I mean, there's really no way to tell, especially on your finger. All okay, right. great. I'm happy to take some. <laughs> take them off Early your Christmas hands. presents. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you, guys. Uh